Well, Ken, how long's this one been sitting here? A long time, too. What idea? Number? This truck. There's a tire. <laughs> yep. This truck, we only used, we bought two of them. Then obviously the other one, we took the box off, so extended the frame out, and put that mirror spreader on. <coughs> this is a five ton unit. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the battery box and everything. Yeah. I stopped one time on it to uh, wanted rear ends and stuff for it, and I mm -hmm. said, I think, and, and I said, take the whole truck. And he said, no, I want the rear ends. What do you want? I said, or something, maybe 15 a piece, and he didn't take up on that. So I, uh, so it's been sitting here. Yeah, they, there's a latch here. There we go. So rough idea, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. This is a 1963 model 602 gasser. <laughs> I it's setting here 10 years for sure. 62, I just checked. Where? 1962. What's the model number on this thing? It's a uh, M54, I believe, because it's a troop carrier. Okay. So it's got the Continental engine in it. Gas. Like 220 horse. <laughs> it's, it's one of the oddballs, because from everything I could read, most of them are redone as a multi-fuel diesel. And this one never had that happen. What's the gear ratio on this thing? I didn't check. Low as hell. It's got a top speed of 52 miles an hour, I think. And... A cruising speed of 45. <laughs> if you can handle the bumps. <laughs> so, as you can tell, this we're trying to do the best, keep the wind out of this video here. But uh, it's been sitting, uh, I think the boss man said it's been sitting for about 10 years. And he decided that uh, we can have it. So... We're gonna find out if we get Arc and Spark, put some gas in it if it runs. I think Luke, you gonna drive this home tonight, Luke? I doubt tonight, but that would be cool. <laughs> we know it had fuel issues when it was parked. So. Yes, it was a fuel delivery problem. So do your basics, check for uh, Spark. If you get Spark, and then it's usually nothing to get a little boom out of it with some fuel. So stay tuned. Here we go. So we got some batteries now. Needs a heat gun. Yep. So you said the battery trays rotted out? Oh yeah, there's no no bottom to that. So going slow. Oh. Somebody's had that on a lot of times and it's got a ridge on it and didn't want to go down all the way. Farm truck. Uh, yes, this thing's been a farm truck for Lord knows how long. So I put the batteries in. We're gonna see if. Oh, look at this! Oh yeah, nice little bird's nest right on the tire. So I'm gonna flip it on and see if we're actually getting any power in it or not. Well, let's just see if it cranks. That's that's the big thing. See if the starter's any good yet. I just don't want to crank it much. Do you even know how to start that? Oh, it's got a floor start. <laughs> I was going to say something. <laughs> All right. Cranks. Question is... Uh, let's take a bet, Luke. Take a bet on what? Let's take a bet. All right. I'll have to buy you dinner tonight. How do you want to do this? Oh, honey, you got to buy me dinner anyways. <laughs> More like the other way around. I'm the one that found this deal. <laughs> yeah, good point. <laughs> I'll be buying you dinner. Even... Okay. Oh. All right, on a scale of 1 to 10. I give it a 50-50 shot of if it'll start. We spray That's something. not fair. Everybody goes half and half now. I'm saying by the way it cranks. How the hell did 
I climb on this thing before? Well, we're getting old. Oh. I'm going to say the way this thing cranks, I think we got an, an 8 for 10 running, 1 not. I'm going to say an 8. I'm not going to lie. I, I was a little unsure about whether we were going to get any power in the cab after how long it's been sitting. So well, you paid the electric bill, so we got juice there. Just the fact that we had power is a pretty, you know what? pretty nice start. You paid the electric bill. Pay the electric bill. There was pressure in the otherwise empty looking radiator. Okay. So, it's not driving home tonight, but won't hurt well, to start it. I don't know that it's empty, it's just not up the neck. And I forgot to bring any coolant. It's all right. Okay. What do we got going on here? That lift pump almost looks like it was replaced. I wonder if that's why he was talking about he thought the fuel tank or the fuel lines had problems. Well, having pumped gas in there, that pump's probably shot anyways. Never even touched one of these before, so I'm figuring this out as I go. Yes, this is uh... I want to disconnect the fuel in case it does pump, because I don't want 10 year old gasoline getting up in here. Okay, so that is the main feed line, so we gotta unhook that. You know, it'd probably be a good idea to check the oil, huh? <laughs> All excited. Go, before we get too far into this, checks the water, but he doesn't check the oil. Red on dipstick? It does. We got oil and it looks good. Yeah, they're pretty good on their maintenance around here. And good oil. Well, I mean, now we know the oil pan's not rotted out. Well, don't say that. We know on the Dodge Durango I had, it rotted out from the inside out. So how does something with oil in it rot from the inside? We're buying a Dodge. Uh, right, we... Quiet. we drove here in a Dodge that I just bought. <laughs> We don't want to hurt any people's feelings. Now unhook the fuel and get this intake tube off so that we can spray a little starting fluid in it. And we'll uh, we'll go from there. Should we back the truck right up in here? It looks like there's enough room in here. Uh, I want to use the floor jack to get that wheel on the back first. Then, yeah, then that might not be a bad idea. Well, you're not going to try moving, are you? I just want that wheel on. It'll make me feel good inside. I wonder what this tank is. This little thing. I got a rather, it looks like a hydraulic. Oh, that's the power steering fluid tank. Dun, dun, dun. The power steering fluid tank's bigger than the fuel tank on half the stuff I own. All right, let's get some uh, gas in this thing. All right, look, put some gas on the carburetor. Ooh, not that guy approved. All right, where's the, okay, I see the switch here. That's it. So you just turn it to the right? Turn it to the right and then hit the starter on the floor. Is there a choke or anything? There is, but I'm operating it out here. Okay, here we go. Mike, I don't know if you got to hold it to the floor or what. Uh... All right. Ready? I'm trying. Yep, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. It, I mean, it fired up. I just, we've got no gas in it, and now I'm out of this little bottle. But it fired up. It sounded good. Let's get fuel in the carburetor bowl. Where's the thing? Oh, that's not 
All right, well, as you've seen, that fired up. Is there a plug or anything on top that we can fill it? Like a screw? I'm doing it right through the... Right through where the fuel line is. Yeah, I would have had this set up on a tripod, but unfortunately the wind's blowing so much and the video quality is going to be terrible, so I apologize if there's any chatter. Oh, this is going to take a minute. There could be more issues. We, like I said, this is just the beginning of it, but for set in 10 years, you know, this is this is awesome. Well, I got. I think we can drive this home. Not today. The farmer said it would sit years at a time and they could always start it up. But that last time they had fuel supply issues. Yeah, so we were talking uh, worst comes to worst. We brought fuel line hose. <clears throat> so you only think run fuel line in a boat tank? That's what I brought just in case. I didn't really think about it beforehand. I just grabbed stuff I had laying in the shed. Right, right. Well, today's purpose is, uh, well, will it run? And uh, obviously we'll uh, see if we can get the move. And So we need coolant and a few other things, but... Luke promises that he has a lot of stuff he wants to do with this thing, so this is going to be a great addition to the yard. Right, Luke? I'm making up things so that I can justify owning this. <laughs> I've wanted one of these since I was five years old. Here you go. Maybe younger. So the funny thing is... is and I've been hounding Ted for about two years to bring me out here so that we could try and get it. Well, No, so if you watched the previous video with the international pickup, um, Ken there, the farm owner here, um, he talked about these trucks going to scrap and everything, and uh, he said this one ran, it just had a fuel delivery issue, so whether it was a pump or pickup or whatever it is, we don't know, but we're going to figure it out. Yeah, he told you pump, and he told me lines, and that he thinks the fuel tank has holes in the top. Could be. So the deal is we got two other trucks for parts. So there's going to be, well, two and a half trucks. If that sounds like anything. So the second one has a manure box on it. That's pretty much going to get cut up for parts. Um, nothing really left. That one's in rough shape. The engine's bad. I guess he said it, he drove it where it was parked, but it had zero power. And then the third one, um, that's just a rolling chassis. But still axles and everything. Well, I mean, it's been taking fuel, so that's good. The seat's not stuck yet. Seafoam would probably help it a lot, yeah, too. Yeah, I forgot to bring any. Oh, well, it's barely going down now, so we might be full. The air noise went away. Something's up. Yeah, turn the switch to the right. I'm on the wrong switch. Uh-huh. First day on the farm. What is here? No, I just thought about it. It's got the air pressure built up yet, but yep. all right. Well, fire her up again. We'll see. Want a shot of gas? What? Shot of gas? Yeah, give it a shot. I'm not sure where the choke is. Says it. Oh, fire it all. let it run i think the clutch is a little stuck uh i finally got it in gear though so it might be loose you think it burns through all the fuel yet uh. 
Try it. <laughs> Probably. Well, we know it runs. Before we blow through the batteries, let's check fuel lines and what we got going on. Well, nothing was coming out of that fuel line. Yep. Look at that, we got an audience. Well, he's got it hooked up with a rubber hose here, so... Uh, Look at be... that. We have an audience. Well, I hear, I hear air leaking, so we were building it. Nothing coming out the bottom of the fuel filter. So we might as well just plan on uh, plan on uh, just doing a boat tank and everything that eliminate a lot of the, the issues. Because I mean that was my. I plan. mean, who's a note? I mean, you could definitely plug a carburetor up and. That was my plan to begin with. Yeah, I just hit the drain on this filter and nothing coming out. These lines look really, really rough. Yeah, it looks like they replaced the lift pump. They probably were still having trouble, and that's why he told me the lines had holes. Yeah, it looks rough. Yeah, we'll eliminate all of that. What do you think, Luke? Thumbs oh, up? I'm thrilled. I'm freaking just... It ran off the bowl. If we get fuel to it, it should drive. Yep. Now, the next question is... is uh. Well, build air and hold air, that's the next question. I mean, it felt like it was rolling, like the brakes weren't locked. And I think this is just air assist rather than air brakes. Right. But well, you still got to have the air, though. Well, yeah, oh. never mind, yeah. 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 It's, it's like not having vacuum on your normal car, as yeah. far as I know. And what do I know? Not Nothing. Much. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt the brakes work. Don't matter. <laughs> Can't believe how well it runs. Wow. Oh, brakes work. Well, I'm giddy as can be. This thing is. <laughs> this is both the best. This is one of the best and the worst thing I've ever driven. <laughs> and he just wandered out of here. Oh man, I am. <laughs> Kidding, Toys R Us. I, 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 I don't have words. <laughs> I mean, the last few years have been nothing but childhood dreams coming true, and this is just another one. It looks bigger up, up out of its hole. <laughs> oh, it drove out of the hole. It drove out of the hole. It's ready to drive home. Yesterday, but uh, 
we lost power and spark on it, so we're thinking maybe possible points and condenser. Not sure. But uh, we came back the next day and uh, loaded up on a trailer with a winch, and uh, now I'm following back to the shop. I said a truck don't care. The truck didn't care at all. I was very impressed. Not even squatting. 384,000 miles and it just doesn't care. Well, what do you think for your first 6x6? Oh, I'm very pleased. I'm pleased with the 6x6. I am pleased with this old truck. I'm pleased with the trailer that was scrap and came out of a woods last year. That It's all working out. <laughs> It was, a, it was a good first, this is the first real use of this trailer. It was a good test. Yeah. The winch grunted a little bit. It was a little... But we pulled it up single line. Yeah. 20,000 pound truck and we pulled it up with a single line on the winch, so... Man, I had to turn down the brakes on the trailer. They were stopping too hard. Really? Even with all that weight. Wow. It was, it was throwing me into the windshield when I touched the pedal a little bit. All right, so we tried driving this yesterday, and what happened? We think maybe it well, lost spark. It, it died just as I was pull, just about to pull out onto the road. The engine died. Um, pretty sure it's ignition. Yeah, well, we talked to the farmer. He says it's probably points and condenser. It's common. So, so we got boat tank up there. The line was rotted out. We think the fuel tank's bad too. But uh, oh, it ran, drove, and it stopped good. Drove, it stopped. I mean, it ran really good. It stopped really good. It's really not in bad shape. The box is a little rotted, but everything else is pretty pretty good. Well, it's sitting outside, you know. Yep. Well, and it was a cow farm. Yes. So manure is very corrosive. But it's got some mean tires on it. So, what's the first task with it? You think pull a tree down with it? I mean, I was just going to try and pull a stump. We could pull a whole tree. I we got to try a tree. I, so... He wants to take some of these trees out here because obviously they're thick and they're. I want to take over half the trees. Well, they're, they're choking them out. Well, I'm not gonna walk around the woods and yeah, show no, you, but they're killing each other because they're so close. There's one over there that's half dead, and another one back there. It was supposed to be a Christmas tree farm, and they never harvested any of the Christmas trees. So. So I so I feel like we need to do something with this. I mean, it's just I've always wanted one, but Luke he obviously wanted one more than me, and <laughs> so we got this, and I feel like. We owe the people something for pulling something with us. I think we should probably find a tree and. Oh, yeah. that's what I'm figuring. We'll, we'll get it running. We'll, we'll get in the video of it doing some stupid stuff. We'll do it some tug of war with it. Try and pull a tree. So this is going to stick around and be used for a while. So we, we what we have in store, we don't know. But this is just cool for us because this is something we always wanted. And the dairy farmer wanted it gone and they're happy to see it go. I, I can see us tug of war with the pickup, tug of war with the track skid steer, tug of war with both of them hooked up to it. We'll find we'll find out what it takes to stop it. I feel like John Rambo all over again. Like this is this brings back Rambo movies to me. Like I you know what I'm gonna go home and watch Rambo tonight because this is awesome. <laughs> no, it's worked real well. Very very pleased. I'm I can't believe I own this. <laughs> yes, this is uh, this is cool. What do you think, cat? Cat don't care. 
All right, that's going to do it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for following, guys.